Okay, so I thought we'd uh, just leave those formulas up just because um, I didn't want to write them down again. Uh, so this one says convert. Let's see if I can remember how to spell this. F. Hopefully I spelled that right. Very nice. Right. Um, convert from Kelvin to Fahrenheit. And what was it? 0, 0.00 Kelvin. So really, absolute zero. 0, 0.00 Kelvin. And they want you to convert that to Fahrenheit. So the first thing you're going to want to do is convert it to Celsius first. So remember, how do I do that? Well, I've got to subtract 273.15 from both sides here. And when I do that, cancel that. So I get temperature in degrees Celsius is um, 0, 0.00 minus 273.15. to 73.15 So we can keep all of the units because why? Because we're adding and subtracting and we've got two digits after the decimal place. So this is our new Kelvin and we want to, our, our new cel degree Celsius, sorry, our new degree Celsius and we want to convert that to um, Fahrenheit Right, so we use this one up here. So degrees Fahrenheit is going to equal 1.8 times negative 273.15 degrees C. And again, I just like to just pretend and put. Negative 273.15 plus 32. So you're going to have negative 450, oh, hang, sorry about that, 0.67 degrees Fahrenheit. Absolute zero. That's how many degrees Fahrenheit you got. Okay, cool. Let's see who called me.